Hi, 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 hi. Five highs from Y. I hope that everyone is doing well today. I am Y Woods Harris from Memphis, Tennessee, and a National Patient Advocate Foundation volunteer for several years. Today, I wanted to take a segment of my time to talk to you about a caregiving experience that really speaks to how I am feeling in shedding light on caregiving resources, caregiving, uh, all of the things that are being done in this day and time to make it an easier place uh, and space for caregivers. A while back, I was sitting in the ICU waiting room uh, as I was caring for my husband. My husband had been in the hospital for more than a couple of weeks, and during that time, he had coded. And so we were doing everything we could to just to bring him back from that and get him to the point that we would be able to leave ICU and go to a room. And I got a call, I got a telephone call, and I was told that my daughter, my youngest daughter, had had a stroke and that she was in a hospital about 21 miles away. So after getting my husband settled in, getting people to come in and help us uh, while I was gone, I rushed to the other hospital and I became this caregiver. And I thought about how caregivers really do have to have their capes on at all times, or I call them their superwoman, superman cape. They have to have them on all times because of the distractions and disruptions that come in caregiving. But thank goodness we are beginning to realize that we have to use our resources. We have to use all of the persons who have are volunteering to help us and to make it better for us. When I find myself in ICU, it was a familiar place from a different space because I had been in ICU taking care of patients. But it's always different when you are the caregiver, the main primary caregiver. And so as I was thinking about this segment and how we as uh, caregivers, how we are sharing and telling our stories just to help others, to educate and encourage others, I just wanted to say we are sub survivors as we come together uh, to inspire generations. We inspire generations um, that span from even 100 years and even more so. And so every opportunity to help others, to me, is a light in a dark place. And as caregivers, we're always glad when someone turns the light on for us or leaves the light on. Uh, every opportunity that we get, we have to say that we are thankful and we know that things will change, things will get better. That's what I live on, the thing as a caregiver, that things will get better and that we will continue to grow, we will continue to find the light. So in conclusion, I just quickly wanted to say, as I was thinking about this segment, I wondered how I could put a few words together uh, as a poem. But I didn't get to a poem, but I did get to a pinch of a poem. So I'm just going to read this to you as my conclusion. Caregivers count. We can choose any amount, time, talent, and treasure to encourage, educate with unlimited measure. Caregivers count. Our relationships and friendships are part of long journeys and short trips. We keep our eyes to the skies and our hands in the land. We celebrate the work and work of all we continue to count, the ways we meet our call. Yes, caregivers count, so share any amount.